Hello everyone, this is a video write-up for the challenge MathWiz for 20 points on TJCTF, the recent Capture the Flag competition. Challenge prompt here is, the neighborhood MathWiz won't stop bragging about the registration form source he coded. Show him who's boss. So it gives us a netcat command to connect to this remotely, gives us a binary and some source code. So let's copy these and actually get our hands on them. W get these to download. And if we wanted to create a little connect script to just automatically jump over to our remote source, we can. Just a simple bash script, mark that as executable. Easy. So we have a register.c. Let's go ahead and see what the source code is. Checking this out here, let's see, C source code defines a flag that is okay, obviously not visible in this case creates an input function that does some things to handle input in a custom manner, it looks like. Uh, main function is gathering an admin variable and a bunch of character strings or buffers here, full name, username, etc., etc. Gives us some special privileges for running on the server, flushes in an output for a buffer here, and then we'll work with it getting input for a full name, username, password, etc. So just registration stuff, it looks like. And if admin is set to something other than zero, it will, okay, give us the flag here. Otherwise, it just registers it as normal. So we can play with that. If we wanted to connect to it, full name, John, username, please sub, password, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, nonsense, nonsense. So it will just register as a user account. That's silly. Uh, all right, let's start to break this. I actually need to give some credit to Yiggles Moto, who was awesome and an incredible help for the CTF. Shout out to you, man. I hope we get to do this more and more again, because this was awesome. Um, we actually, he had solved this challenge just a bit before me by simply spamming it. <laughs> so I think that is the move. That is definitely what we want to go for. And we can do that pretty easily, and we can just get it to spit out a flag, because we know, essentially, we're doing a buffer overflow here. These variables, these buffers are bounded by their length here, but this input function that they're using as a custom form looks like it's taking a multiple of the input that we're taking for one or whatever, um, taking it as a, a string argument, etc., determining if we actually pass something in. If we don't determine a specific character is in there, it will keep adding it on, and eventually it tries to add in its own null byte in a weird way at the very end. So, not the most secure thing, or, or, or so we assume. So let's just hammer it. Let's just throw stuff at it and see what we can do. Let's create a remote session with the host name that we're working with and the port number supplied for us, s.close. And what we can do is we can just simply uh, s.receive to see what we're working with here. Let's just print that out. It's the registration form as we are expecting. Great. So let's just receive again to get the prompt. Good. And let's send stuff. Let's say we want it to be something other than zero. We wanted our admin variable to be overflowed to something that's just not zero. So literally anything in our case, I think we could see we could get something true here. Let's go ahead and do that with just a bunch of ones. So I literally sent it one a hundred times and then we would again just receive, etc., as we needed to, and it would move us to the next prompt. So I was pretty lazy when I actually wrote this for real. So I literally just threw it in a while loop, turned the crank and watched it go. <laughs> and you can see it spat out just there. We overflowed successfully, and we got our flag, dangerous buffer overflows. So, Peculiar just spammed it, threw a bunch of crap at it, and we got it just like that. If we wanted to, we could write a get flag script, cut this up, but I was pretty lazy where I just turned the crank on that. So let's go ahead and save this as flag.txt. We can submit that and move on. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it is like set to go live. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more of it, other Capture the Flag video write-ups or programming tutorials, stuff that I do, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, link in the description is to join our Discord server. It's a really cool community of other CTF players. You can tag team with me and other awesome people on games like this. And it's just cool. Hang out with programmers, hackers. Sweet. I'd love to see you on Patreon, and I'd love to see you in the next video. See you soon.